It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! <laughs> It's Leilani's 15th birthday, so I wanted to do something really special for her, so I'm surprising her with a bedroom makeover. She's at school right now, so I have like six to seven hours to get this done, and I'm freaking out. She's been dying to do something to her room for like a solid year, but I feel like she gets in her own head and really overwhelmed, so I'm just gonna take the burden off of her and see what I can do. I've been working on this project for like three months on my phone, and I'm super nervous because she likes what she likes, but she does not like what she doesn't like. She's very particular, and so I wanted to just bring some more of her personality into her room. I know a lot of teenagers probably don't want their moms in their room while they're gone, and I get it, but I stayed really respectful of her things in the process. The only thing I knew for sure that she wanted in her room were these sheer curtains for her canopy, and they came out so pretty. Taking my pink drink break, and here's her desk slash vanity and her dresser. She definitely needed more storage. I'm not gonna lie, once I was adding in these little bits that I got from like Amazon and small shops and Etsy, I just wanted all these things for myself. Everything was so cute. I try to be really intentional about all the pieces that I got. I hope she loves everything. And then my favorite, this is a little ashtray with pills, and it's lipstick oh so cute the pizza was mid then i got back to work putting all the finishing touches i feel like i'm racing the clock right now because she's gonna be home any minute and i still had so much to do with so little time another one of my favorites was this little mini fridge it's so cute i know she's gonna eventually use this for skincare which i would too but who doesn't want snacks and i'm a prankster at heart so i had to add a heart-shaped picture of her mommy and that's it everything's final it's beautiful i love it so much and i'm freaking out because she's so close to home i hope she loves it This started out as a very normal bedroom tidy, you know, the basics, clearing it out, making the bed, making everything look nice. And then as soon as I started to clear this surface, I got a little niggle in my brain that told me you should move the whole room around. So I put a video up on here asking people what they thought and most people said, yeah, go for it. You know, you can always change it back. And I thought, you know what? You're so right. Let's do it. The only issue is I was on my own and I had to move this 500 million ton bed by myself and I'm pretty sure I dislocated my shoulder, but you know, I got the job done. Look how much I was sweating. It's an absolute joke. <laughs> I actually realised at this point that I have an ottoman bed. I should have moved everything out from underneath it and on top of it to make it a lot lighter. And then it would have been so much easier to move. But there we are, lesson learned for next time. I just put the drawers back, made the bed, and then it's all done. What do you guys think? I really can't work out if I love it or hate it. So I'm just going to keep it like this for a little while. But if you have any other suggestions, let me know. for some time now but it is $50 at Hobby Lobby so I'm gonna attempt to make my own got some flowers from Wally World some string or whatever this is and a little tiki torch thing which only totaled to $16 first we break this off we got all that off and it's just a stick okay we tied the strings and now we're going to get the flowers together I already started taking some of them off but I'm just plucking them off of here Flower power! Some hot glue and put little dots and then taking like little pieces of leaves and sticking them on there. Okay, I got the leaves and here is the final product. So cute! I don't know where I'm gonna hang it up yet, but I put these little strings on it so we can hang it up like that. But
my son asked me for for a Spider-Man room. Fine. I said, fine. I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. I really wanted a custom neon sign, but I wasn't ready to pay hundreds of dollars for it. So I decided to make it myself. I need a stretched canvas, LED wire, and a hot glue gun. I started by writing my text on the canvas. I punched holes so that I can hide parts of the LED wire that I don't want to see. I'm using the hot glue gun to secure the wire on the surface. This whole project only took me an hour and 15 minutes. Don't forget to secure the back. And this is how it turned out. 